So maybe you've decided that now is the time to change in your life. You know, you've read all the little articles on medium.com and you've watched the YouTube videos. You set your shoes beside your bed at night with your workout clothes because you're diehard set on starting the day anew. But then when it's time to do it, it doesn't work. And you can't find yourself motivated to do it and stick with it. And all this inner stuff comes up and it makes you challenge yourself and wonder why you even tried in the first place. Well, in this video, I want to share a very simple two-part framework that I've used with a lot of my coaching clients. And it really is surrounding whatever domain of life you want to change and transform. You always need two pieces and only one of them is taking action. So in this video, let's jump in and I want to share what those two pieces are. What's up guys, Alex Hein, author of the book, Master the Day. FYI, if you grab my book, there's a free, it's like an hour and a half bonus course that I'm going to send you for free. So if you buy it, send me your receipt, let me know. Now, one of the core exercises I've done with my coaching clients has always involved journaling. Because journaling is a brilliant way to get out abstract thoughts and put them into concrete plans on paper. So the first link in the description is for a free journaling worksheet as well as an email series you're going to get every couple days that shows you how to use journaling to set and achieve your wildest goals. So what is this framework that I subtly, discreetly mentioned? It is very simple. For whatever domain of life you want to transform, you need to have an external habit, which is something other people can see, an internal habit, and these two things equal growth, transformation, and being limitless. So let's jump into that a bit more. There are two big barriers I've seen come up with the hundreds of people I've coached. By far, the biggest one is almost nobody takes any freaking action towards their goals. Like if you said you were going to write a book or go to the gym or start talking to more men or women because you want a relationship, have you done that on paper for 30 days? Can you show me you've done that? 95% of people cannot, even the ones that pay me money to coach them. But then the deeper question is, So why haven't they? That's the million dollar question. And when I asked that question, I always found that there was a deeper level of belief or self-sabotage or some story or narrative preventing them from doing that. And so for me, every piece of my coaching and life improvement advice that I've used on myself especially has always started with the external, which is the specific habit that's tangible, practical. That's the master of the day ritual. But the inner habit which is something regarding the story or the narrative or the uncomfortable emotions inside you. So let's say, for example, we take the domain of dating. You could say the inner habit is there's a belief that there are no good women or no men or no humans with these specific traits I want. That inner habit has to be rewritten to, okay, well, I'll just be open-minded and see if there are people that I like. That's just an idea. You're going to act as if that's a possibility. Your external habit is rather than staying home all Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because you're an introvert, is getting yourself out to just one event per week. Boom. Then you have your internal habit, your external habit. That's going to result in massive growth and results. Let's say you're working on your health. Your inner habit may be changing this belief that, you know, I may never be able to fully have a normal life because of my insomnia, my IBS, this rheumatoid arthritis I have some other condition. That inner habit needs to be rewritten to, you know what, I'm going to at least dedicate 20 minutes per day to finding what resources are out there for me to heal. Okay? And you're just going to live for 100 days as if that is a possibility. And your external habit is going to actually be, you know what, I'm going to cook dinner each night instead of eating out. So I know exactly what I'm putting in my body. Now you have the inner transformation the external visible transformation, and that combined is awesomeness. Let's say money is your struggle. Your inner habit, the belief may be, you know, there's no way I can pay for that. No way I can save money. No way I can pay off my student debt. That narrative needs to be changed, maybe to something like, well, how could I pay that off? And ideas start coming. And the external habit for that is that we need to change our behavior. I'm going to be a barista one day a week at a coffee shop for five hours, And that's going to give me extra money that I can then save or put towards this goal. You started with this domain of life you're not doing well in. 
you've changed the story. It's just a 100-day test. That's all it is. And you've changed a concrete habit. My experience has been if you fuse these two things and you need both things, that you can really, really do amazing things in your life. And that just by doing one or the other, but especially if you find yourself struggling with taking action, there's inner stuff that is not that we are not clear on. Get clear on that. Get clear on the tactical habits and you'll get results. All right, guys, so I hope that helps. Check out the first link in the description, which is for a free journaling worksheet. You'll also get an email series on how to use journaling to achieve your most wild goals and kind of get your life together. So that's the first link in the description there below. You can check that out. And then come on over here and check out my last related videos.